We're back at the arena in Winnipeg as the championships continue, and we're getting set for the women's team and individual all-around events. And one of the intriguing things, Carol Angela, about the Pacific Alliance championships is the way they score the team event. What effect might that have on the outcome of the championships as a whole? Only the three best scores on every event are added for the team total. That means any one of the 12 nations represented here has a shot at it. But to win, it'll be the team that has the most substantial routine content. And of course, they have to hit. All right, so set the field for us. What individuals are we looking for to shine in Winnipeg? Interestingly enough, every team has taken a similar philosophy. They're not promoting the individual. They're pushing the team. The team is the star. Look for USA, China, Canada, and I have been very impressed with the recent progress Australia's been making. But let's not forget the surprises that were thrown at us during the first half of the show in the men's competition. That's the essence of sport. Anything can happen. This is a test event for the Pan American Games, which will be held in Winnipeg here at the arena a year from now. But more imminent for the Canadian team are the Commonwealth Games coming up in Malaysia just two months away. And what effect might that have on the performances of the Canadian women. There's going to be a lot of pressure out there. The Canadian team has not been selected yet, and every athlete is painfully aware of that fact. They're going to want to hit. They're going to want to impress the national team coach in hopes of being selected toward the end of August for the Commonwealth Games team. 17-year-old Katie Rowland of Georgetown, Ontario has an inside line on that team. She is the national champion, having won that title in May in Hamilton, Ontario. And her performance on this event is a big reason why she's the national champion. An excellent routine, terrific composition. Two and a half, punch front. Now the judges will deduct for the one step, but here's where she really excels. Lots of passion, she makes terrific eye contact with the judges and they like that. Triple twist, needs to pull it around a little bit more. Scott, we're going to see a lot of intricate jumps and turns. The athletes are depending on these combinations to get bonus points from the judges. The new rules have become so demanding that you can't do enough tumbling anymore to get the score. So the jumps and turns have become almost as important as the big tricks. Katie is very passionate. We have three Kates, or Katie's, on the national team now. So at the two-week training camp that just finished, we decided that Katie Rowland would be Katia. She's the most exotic one, the most passionate performer. This is a good start for Team Canada. That's going to be a solid score. There's Katie Rowland, the national champion, who is coached here at the Pacific Alliance Championships by Debbie Vidmar. She did a great job. This will be the one place the judges may nail her. Triple twist doesn't quite get her feet all the way around, but they know it's an intricate skill to perform. There she is with Debbie Vidmar, 9-6-2-5, a great score. Michelle Chiron, another one of the Canadian team coaches, also offering congratulations. Zena McLaughlin, the great Australian performer to the vault now, the average of two to count. You see the number, 4504. That indicates to the judges exactly what she's going to perform, and it's a Yurchenko one and a half. That looks good. 17-year-old Zena McLaughlin trains at the Victorian Institute of Sport. She's the 98 Australian champion, 9-2-6-2, her final score on the vault. Sierra Sapinar of the United States, just 16 years old to the beam. An interesting story. One of the American stars, Kendall Beck, was injured yesterday in training, so Sierra has to come up with a big performance here. This is the biggest competition she's been at to date and she looks so aggressive so determined third all around at the junior pacific alliance championships last year in colorado springs back handspring layout back handspring i am very impressed she works beam with a real tension they call it balance beam but actually there's not a lot of balance involved Oh, beautiful, full-twisting, backhand swing chest roll. She's got great coaching, coached by the 96 Olympic coach, Mary Lee Tracy, from Cincinnati Gymnastics. 
punch front right to a jump. You could see her toes were hanging off the edge of the beam. She is not giving up or giving in. You can see the tension in everything that she does. Switch split through to a straddle jump. Just so much focus. Excellent tension. She knows she has a great routine. She needs to nail that dismount round up double back. And she gets it. Well, forced into action, so to speak, and a great result for Sierra Sapinar of the United States. Oh, USA knows they can count on her. This is going to be a big boost to her career. There's the dismount. Two flips before she comes back down. Great landing. There's Mary Lee Tracy, a 9-5 for Sierra Sapinar, a Californian who now lives and trains in the state of Ohio. Wang Mandan of China now to the uneven bars. This is an event that the entire Chinese national team is reinventing. They are setting the trends. Take a look at her hands. Intricate pirouette work right into a high-flying Jaeger. The Chinese don't wear grips on their hands. They prefer the bare hands right to the bar. Gives them a better feeling, better sense. Beautiful pirouette work right through to the Tkacha. The coach steps in just in case she's in trouble, but she's not. Giants right through to full twisting double back. It doesn't get any better than that. She will have a full 10 point start value. And I'm not sure what the judges will be able to duck, deduct for. Beautiful, right into the Pike Jaeger. Look how far she has to travel to get over to the second bar. Talk about the depth of the Chinese men. Same case for the women. A 9-8 on the uneven bars for Huang Mandan. And so she leads in the individual competition after one rotation. Kristen Maloney of the U.S. next. Rao Metsen of China third. Katie Rowland fourth. China, USA, Japan, and Canada in that order in the team competition. When we return, the rising fortunes of the team down under. Stay with us from Winnipeg. <laughs>